Hello, this is Dave, and today I'd like to talk to you about the Sateki IQ plug. This is a Bluetooth 4.0 controlled plug that allows you to take any wall outlet, AC wall outlet, and turn it into a smart outlet. So what you do is pretty much you plug this in to any wall outlet, and it adds so many more features, whether you use it with your smartphone or you just use it standalone, uh, it will add a touch sensitive button up here that will power on and off the device. Once you power it up, you'll see Sateki uh, lit up with the LED and you'll know that you're getting power to it. You plug in your desired uh, device, uh, whether it's an appliance or just a, something that you want to plug into there to get more information about the device and how much power it draws. It also adds controls so that you can turn your devices on and off uh, from the phone up, up to 40 feet away. So say you hook it up to a lamp and you and, and from the phone you can click uh, inside the app which I'll show you more of in a minute and you can turn the device on and off. You can do a whole bunch of other things like uh, while it's power control you can schedule rules where you have the device uh, get power at certain times of the day and turn on or turn off uh, so that it shows that you're, you know, you're home. People think you're home and they, they're they less likely to try to rob you. Um, so the other thing is, is there a power meter that tells you how much power a particular device that's plugged into here will draw. And there's an energy chart. Uh, you can set it up with the rates that you uh, get from your power utility and uh, say you're paying a certain amount per kilowatt hour uh, you can plug that into the app and see how much power it uses in the week day or month uh, there's also an over uh, current protection so it's like a surge protector as well and that's better than just plugging it into a regular uh, power bar or just plugging it straight into the wall you have some sort of surge protection there so let's uh, show you around the box a little bit. Uh, you can see that there's different uh, specs here. The, the app uh, you can get from Android, uh, from Google Play, and for iOS you can get it from the App Store. Uh, it works with Bluetooth 4.0. So basically you just plug it in, you get the app, and then we can start using it. Uh, I like that it has the power button on top so that you don't have to keep opening the app to turn power on and off or have to unplug it. You can leave it plugged in and just turn the power off to it, which is nice. So let's um, open up the app and I'll show you on on the app all the things you can do. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug it right into here, plug it right into there and we'll bring power to it if we want. And let's take the lamp out and we'll plug right into it. Uh, you can see on the power, uh, once it's powered up, you, you get it powered up and you and you see the light here turn on green. So you know that you're powered, there's power going to it. So we'll plug it in. We have our light there. We can touch the touch sensitive uh, switch on the top and it'll turn on and off, which is very nice. Uh, other plugs that I've seen, they don't have an independent uh, manual power plug so you have to always open up the app and and uh, control the plug from there or have to unplug things all the time so now that we have this set up <clears throat> we'll leave this right over here and let's take it to the app now so with power running uh, with the lamp on uh, we can now find the new power meter and we have Bluetooth on we scrolled up and we make sure that Bluetooth is on and there it shows the IQ plug 0466 so we'll plug that. Now you could change the name of the plug if you want. Uh, you could say, you know, plug uh, for the lamp or you could write toaster or, you know, whatever you want you could put on there. Um, I'm going to leave it the way it is. It's on version 1.05 and there's a serial number and then available options. Uh, you can have it so that the light on the, uh, the Sateki lit up, you, you could turn that off in case you don't want you know, a green light shining at nighttime if you have it in a bedroom or anything like that. So you also have factory reset. So now that we found the plug, 
we could turn uh, this on and off. So we could turn it off, we could turn it on, and we could see that it's drawing 53.7 watts. Uh, let's turn it off, and it goes to zero, see? So now also there's other features. So if you were to go into the sidebar here, I'm sorry, we can click on this, and now we have a whole bunch of tabs at the bottom here. So the first tab is showing you how much power this is drawing right now. And you can have multiple uh, plugs plugged into different places throughout your house. As long as you're 40 feet away, uh, you'll be able to uh, see all the power consumption by selecting it on the list. There's also energy cost by day, week, and month. Basically, what you do is you click on cost here, you click up here, and you can change it from different prices uh, for your power. So you got to pretty much know from your bill, you look at it, and you see how much they're charging you, uh, the, uh, the electric company or something that's charging you per um, kilowatt. Then you hit OK, and over time, uh, you know, throughout the course of the day, you'll see how much power it drew all day and how much it cost you uh, to run that particular device that's plugged into here. You also have rules where you could set up. You hit the plus button here. Now you can have it so that it supplies power to the plug at a certain time. Uh, maybe you know you get up uh, in the morning uh, at what time you go to bed and you want that lamp just to be on during your waking hours. And you can do it to the day, uh, repeat it. Uh, say on the weekends you don't want it uh, you know, turning on and off. You just want it completely off because you know you're going away that weekend. Basically you could just have it for any particular day or all the days. Uh, and that's pretty cool. You save that rule. And you can make multiple rules to multiple Sateki plugs. Um, the other thing is a timer. So say you know you're going to go to bed uh, and you want the lamp to shut off on its own because you're scared of the dark or something like that. Uh, in a kid's room maybe, you can go to 20 minutes and you know that they'll be asleep by then and you want that light off. You don't have to go back and up into their room and turn it off for them. Uh, it will shut off automatically and that's great for uh, you know having it shut off automatically and it saves you energy that way because you don't want that lamp on all night long uh, you get multiple plugs you plug them in different devices that you know you want to power off while you're sleeping or while you're away uh, we have settings uh, that's what we basically saw when we paired it up and I love this device uh, because uh, this is something that every plug in a house should have power uh, too. You know, you, you want to be able to uh, control how much electricity you use, when to turn things on and off. You got family members that forget to turn off their PlayStation or something like that. And you want to know that during a certain time, you shut that off uh, so that you know in your heart of hearts that this um, you know device is off. So I think uh, it's a very nice, uh, simple and easy to use. Uh, Sateki is great with Bluetooth. They're great with uh, making devices work and making it simple to use with an app or even without an app by hitting the power button off. Um, and they made it very convenient. And this app is free. You can get it in your uh, particular app store. You can add multiple plugs in here. Uh, you can control, finally control, especially with the cost of electricity going up. Oil prices went down and electricity prices went skyrocketing through the roof, especially in my state, Massachusetts. Um, they're making people pay for all the, uh, you know, the different taxes and things like that. There's a big controversy in City Hall and I needed something. Now you can connect this power strip, for instance, to this plug and plug it right into here and then you say you have multiple devices you plug in and you want to know that you shut them all off from being charged or from draining power, it shuts them all off. And that's great. You know, there's a lot of things out there like toasters and blenders and coffee machines uh, that if you keep plugged into the wall, they actually still draw power. So if you want to be able to shut them off, that's the best way to do it. So here's the box that it comes in. It's uh, well worth it. I'll get, put a link in the description where you can get it. And you'll also see my full Amazon review. 
If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the comments. Thank you. Bye-bye.